Hey guys, Jen here. Welcome back to my seven day how good can you feel challenge. And this is the Dream Life or Bust channel where I show you how to take the tools you already have at your disposal, your mind, your intuition, and the law of attraction to create the life of your dreams. So this is day six of the challenge and today we're talking about tending to your energy. So when it comes to manifesting the things that you desire, energy is everything. We live in a universe that's all about energy. So the vibration that you put out is always going to come from the energetic frequency that you're feeling right now. So it's so important that you not only focus on your mindset every day, but you also do things to amp up your energy and create that feel good state. And we've been talking for the last six days about how to do that over the course of this challenge. But today we're going to talk specifically about how to amp up your energy and just get yourself more into that, that high vibe state. So some of the things that I really love to do to amp up my energy are things like EFT. So tapping, if you've ever heard of this, it's emotional freedom technique. It's basically just saying phrases out loud and then tapping on certain points of your body that help to release stuck energy and stuck emotion. Some of my favorite videos for these are on YouTube. Actually, if you look up Brad Yates or Kim Ibrink Jensen or Kai Ashley, they have some great tapping videos that are all free and that are a really amazing way to just release the stuck energy so that you can create that feel good high vibe state that you really want to be in. Some other things you can do to shift your energy, you can dance, you can, you know, just jump around and get excited. You could go to the gym or do something that helps move your body. You could um, sing or you could work on a creative project that gives you that feel good state and that feel good vibe. Meditation, visualization, these are all really simple ways to shift your energy. I do a little bit of these every single day. So I actually have time in my morning set aside specifically for me to work on my mindset and my energy. So I'm constantly doing things like journaling, writing my reality, I'm doing EFT every day, I listen to meditation visualizations, I listen to sub, um, subliminal programming that just helps to reinforce different beliefs that I'm creating. And I do this every single day, first thing in the morning before I go into the rest of my day, because what this does is allow me to first get into alignment and create a high vibe, feel good energy for myself that then trickles out into everything else that I do in my day. And it's amazing. And so I would highly recommend you start to take at least 10 to 15 minutes every morning to just get yourself into alignment, into a feel good state, getting your energy where it needs to be. And then just knowing that as you go through your day, if you find yourself low energy or feeling low vibe, that you can just easily go back to these same things, the tapping, dancing, uh, singing, whatever makes you feel really good and really high vibe. You can go back to that anytime you need something to amp you back up. And it's a really simple practice, but if you get consistent with it, you'll start to see over the course of, you know, 30, 60, 90 days, how different your energy is. And of course, because your energy shifts, the things that you're attracting are shifting as well. So give this a try. Your assignment for today is to try some energy shifting activities. So you can try some tapping or just put on some music and dance or go to the gym or do some, you know, walking outside or something, whatever makes you feel good that shifts your energy. So give it a try, share in the comments how it goes, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day seven, the final uh, video in our series.